It's Thanksgiving and I'm watching a basic Thanksgiving to play and we're gonna look at well that's not a photo right now. We're gonna look at my idea of a giant C D collection. So I uh, I'm gonna start off with this one right here for the first pouch, so let's get started. Here is uh Matthew Adam Two's I pouch or my EP for me Electra. There's the CD. Next up is the guitar e six song EP from 1992. Also from 1992, Electra. This is this. Next up is Why Does the Sun Shine EP, Electra 1993. Next up is Back to School EP 1994 Electra. Next up is the XESXY EP from 1996 Electra. Next up is the sample for the New Year's 1997 Russell's Records. This is this. Next is uh, Nanobots, the 2013 uh, Idolized uh, Megaforce Records. Next is Idlewild, a compilation, 2014, Idlewild and Megaforce. There's the disc right there. Next up is Y, 2015, Idlewild and Megaforce. The recent children's album. Next up is Phone Power, 2016 Idlewild and Mega Force. Songs on a CD, which I only listen to for some reason. I, that is, I really don't like that. How do they know what the songs are? Next up is I Like Fun 2018. Uh, I don't know why the Megaforce released just last year. This is this. Next up is the 2018 album of the Escape Team. This is also released a year ago. And this is uh, from I Don't Wild. Next one's also by the wild and it's exclusive to the Instant Fan Club. It's Y2018. This is CD, Idle Wild, 2018. Next up we have uh, Fun of the Policy Double Album Set from 2013. The album series 1990 and 1992. This is released by Rhino and uh, Enzo Records. Enzo Records. This is the Fly album. And there's the Apollo 18. Next up is uh, the also is 2014 from my own Enzo, John Henry Factory Show, the albums that we released on 1994 and 1996.
24 original premieres as they celebrate the 10th anniversary of Countdown to Christmas. Well, now we welcome one of the best-selling bands of all time. Album. Performing Here We Come a Caroling. Here comes the legendary Chicago. Mm. Anyways, we have uh, 50 million They Might Be Giant songs, Can't Be Long, and this is released in Australia in 2015 by Idlewild and Breakaway Recordings. Here's the first guest, without the vintage hits, second guest without the newer hits. Next up is My Mode Remains Double CD set 2018 Idlewild. This one has a 16 song bonus CD in it. This the this. Unfortunately, this does not contain College Town or I Was Dancing in the Lesbian Ball Remix. Hang on a sec, I just got to put some CDs back. Unfortunately, I can't pause it. The, the camera on this camera I'm using right now because I'm using the YouTube camera right now and I can't do and I cannot pause anything and like I can pause on the camera on this tablet but the, that's not on the tablet but I'm using the YouTube camera right now so I can't hang on a sec And I used to finish off the digi packs. I got the 2002 release of Dials on 20 Years of Dead Baby Giants, 2002 uh, Wine on Electra. The case is kind of fucked up. Um, uh, this is this one right here. Is this one? This is two. Put the disc back. Right now we can take a come with the dual case albums. Starting off with... The first album from the subtitled Pink Album 1986, the CD was released in 1987. This is released by Westwood and Bow Nun. Uh, information about Dio Song. Yeah, I got two copies of the 1988 release of Lincoln. Also for Bow Nun and Westwest. This uh, copy is a little bit different of a case, but it's still the same original pressing. Next up is a UK release, Don't Watch It Out, 1989, released by Rough Trade. This is the UK's version of this way see, I know this is not the team, Hello Radio. All the other songs we have are all on here. And a little bit of a different order, too. Here's the most popular album, Flood. This is from 1990 from Electro Records. Next up is the Twisting promo, which contains that one song, also released in 1990 from Electro. Next up is. Oh, okay, on a sec. Istanbul Now Comes Down to Noble EP, 1990 Electro. And the remix of this set is on the CD, but not on the digital set of Flood and Apollo 18. Next up is uh, this way you see. This was released in 1991 from uh, Bowen and West West. I know the West West logo is different here. Next up is the uh, 1992 CD of Apollo 18 release by Electra. 
This is the first CD I got of my name Maybe Giants as an adult album. I also got Factory Show along with it. That's about two copies of the Snatcher Got Me High uh, single promo. It has that one song, like say Tio Retro. On the back, it has the lyrics. This one I got at a. I'm not sure what I got, maybe somewhere. This one's got the one you play, it says Sick Right There, which is also on the back of the Twisting promo CD, which you probably saw, but I forgot to mention that. Next to the Snail Shell promo CD, 1994, I'm sure it has that one song. This is uh, the promo uh, band's first full band debut, John Henry. In fact, she was John Henry itself, 994, I'm the full band debut by They Might Be Giants. Next up we have here is Factory Show of 1996. This one I got along with uh, a Power 18, my first, one of my first adult CDs by the Mighty Giants. And uh, this is released by Electro Records, and this is the last one to be released on the Electro label. Okay, let me just put some CDs back real quick. Next up is the Factory Re- SCXXY remixes, 1996 Electra. There's three remixes out here. This is a promotional item from Electra. Next up is the 1998 West West Records release of Sylvia Tyler Damage, the live album. This one also has a studio recording of Dr. Worm. Okay, next up is two of the next two CDs are the 1999 BMG Special Product CDs. And this is the first one is Best of the Early Years. It has 10 songs from the early years from Lincoln and uh, this one is T and the first album. And here's the other one, which is Y, which has uh, 10 songs from uh, Severe Tire Damage and the uh, studio recording of Dr. Worm. Alright, next up is a 2000 promo CD released by uh, Fox Music, Fox Television Studios, uh, Re- Regency Television, and Westless. And it's the Malcolm in the Middle promo. Boss and me. It has those three versions. Next up, all two copies of the 2001 Westless promo CD of. And it's a loud in here. It has those songs on there. They're both the same thing. I have a different. Uh, I have the UK single as well, which I'll show you later. I have the UK single. And some UK singles are blossoming as well. Some UK singles. Next up is another uh, uh, promo. CD from West West Movie 2001, and that's the special Mink Cow sampler. It has four songs from Mink Cow. This CD. Next up is the 2001 West West CD of. Hang on. 2001 West West CD of Mink Cow. And what's surprising me, this CD. Something, some, something surprising about the CD is that it was released on September 11, 2001, and that's the day when the terrorist attack happened. So that's kind of interesting about. The, that's a kind of interesting fact about the CD, by the way. Next up is the 2001 West West EP CD of Holiday Land, The Mighty Giants and Holiday Land. And this was the last, I believe this is the last The Mighty Giants CD to be released by West West to move on to Idle Wild. Next up is the 2002 CD of They Got Lost by Idle Wild. Oh, this CD is falling apart. There's a CD, it looks like a can of soda. CD is pretty scratched up, I'll try to fix it. Next up is one of my projects, I made for 2002. And it's high value, the best day of my vagina is made by this uh, cheap uh, 
We keep it made CD out. Which you might not work at all CD player, so I made uh, another copy of it, which I'll show later. Next up is, uh, Isn't This Workable Objects, 2004 EP by, uh, I, uh, what, it's not, I don't know, it's, uh, Bowser, which also made, uh, the feature soundtrack for America. Next up is, uh, 2004 Idaho EP of the Spice of Swell. This is songs that were too creepy to be on the Spy in those movies. The same day as the Spy, by the way. There's the CD. And now here's the 2004 CD of the Spy released by Idaho Recordings. This was also released by Zell Records as well. Next up is the 2005 compilation CD of a useless guy named Rabbi Giants. This is we we spy, uh... Hang on, I can't read that. We watch for records, Rhino, and, uh... Rhino something, uh... I can't read that, it's so small. Rhino, strategic material, something I'm not sure. This is CD. That's something from Time Warner. Next up is the 2007 CD released by Idle Wild Recordings and the Wackers, and that is The Else. Is it this? Next up is uh, another one of my projects. I made it for 2010, and that is uh, the best of them I'd be guys. I got this artwork CD from the cover of it. And this is the CD itself. Three more CDs to go. Next up, 2011 CD of uh, Join Us, released by Wando and uh, Ida Wild. My favorite song on here is probably Free Might Be Join Day. So, looking for the vinyl release of this, along with uh, Flood, Factory Film, and John Henry. Next up is Apple Race's New Trouble Question, 2011 Ida Wild. And the last CD is the release of the Dead Rabbit Giants album to be in the jewel case. And that is the 2050 release of Green from Idlewild and Megaforce. And the only CD in the jewel case to be released by Megaforce. And not for the Dial Song project in 2015 or the other year. Anyways, that's all. See you on part 2.